A year ago this week, it really felt like we were all in this COVID fight together. But as it dragged on, things changed. And honestly, this entire experience has brought out the worst in some people. Since the beginning of the shutdown, scammers and thieves have stolen billions of dollars from the COVID relief fund through fake unemployment claims. Now, in most states, all you need is somebody's name, their date of birth, and their social security number, and you can file a claim. All 50 states have seen this happen. Maryland uh, is heading toward 300,000 fake unemployment claims. Washington state lost more than $600 million before they could get their system up and running to find these scammers. And employers are getting a lot of notices that claims have been made against them for people they've never heard of. The national total is expected to exceed $300 billion. And the majority of these scammers don't even live in the United States. So the money is going out of our country. Um, if you do notice any evidence of unemployment fraud, you're asked to call the Department of Labor in your state. Now, after failing to get it on a national level, a lot of states have decided to take matters into their own hands and pass legislation or sign executive orders to offer employers civil immunity against COVID-related lawsuits. 32 states and the District of Columbia already have these in place, and Indiana recently joined the club as Governor Eric Holcomb signed Senate Bill 1 into law. Now, under this new law, Anyone wanting to sue over a COVID-related issue must prove gross negligence or willful and wanton misconduct. So the governor hopes that having these protections for businesses will help pull his state's economy uh, up out of the COVID doldrums. So it's only been a few weeks since we told you about Disneyland turning over their massive parking lots to the state of California to help with some mass vaccination sites. Well, now it looks like they could reopen as soon as April 1st. The state of California has relaxed some of their rules for theme parks and stadiums and the like. Now, what they have to pay attention to is the county where they're located. So they have a colored tier system. Red is the worst. It means we're really bad when it comes to COVID. So if your county goes from red down to purple, which is moderate, then you will be allowed to open. But only 15% capacity for theme parks. So it's a far cry from what's happening down in Orlando where the folks at Walt Disney World say they are book solid for several months to come. And that's all we have for you today. Be sure to join us back here next week and check out ebiinc.com for more screening information. Have a great weekend.